the next space race, humanity's cosmic gold rush, begins now. For decades, space was the domain of astronauts and rovers, a lonely arena for the first footsteps on the moon and robotic probes dancing among the planets. But a new chapter is unfolding, a thrilling sequel to the original space race. This time, the prize isn't a flag planted on lunar soil, but a treasure chest overflowing with resources, metals, minerals, water ice, hidden within the very fabric of the cosmos. This is the new space race, a scramble for wealth beyond Earth's cradle, powered by human ingenuity and fueled by the insatiable desire to push the boundaries of what's possible. Imagine towering megastructures in orbit, fashioned from asteroids transformed into celestial steel. Picture interstellar spacecraft, fueled by rare minerals harvested from distant moons, piercing the veil of darkness and propelling us deeper into the universe. And envision sprawling space colonies, vibrant and life-sustaining, nourished by water extracted from icy comets. These are not pipe dreams, but the tangible promises of space mining. It's about rewriting the script of resource scarcity, fueling our insatiable wanderlust, and forging a future where humanity thrives far beyond Earth's limitations. But the celestial riches come at a cost, woven into the tapestry of the cosmos like an asteroid field. The vast distances, the unforgiving vacuum, and the harsh radiation environment turn every ounce of extracted ore into a hard-won prize. Yet human ingenuity is rising to the challenge. We're developing robotic armies, tirelessly traversing the celestial deserts, harvesting resources with meticulous precision. We're harnessing solar energy with advanced technology, bathing space habitats in radiant light. And we're even printing structures with lunar dust, transforming science fiction into tangible reality. 3D printing technology, fueled by regolith materials found on the Moon and Mars, is revolutionizing construction methods in space. This not only reduces the need to transport heavy materials from Earth, but also opens up the possibility of creating sustainable habitats on other celestial bodies. But with such immense wealth comes the burden of responsibility. This new space race isn't a solo sprint, but a delicate relay, demanding international cooperation. Who owns the celestial bounty? How do we mine sustainably, ensuring we don't plunder and pollute the cosmos? These are not just technical questions, but political and economic minefields. International treaties and robust frameworks are crucial to avoid territorial disputes, resource wars, and environmental neglect. This is about establishing a celestial law of the land, a shared code of conduct for the future of space mining. As we delve into the legal complexities of space mining, it becomes evident that crafting an equitable framework requires input from diverse stakeholders. The involvement of scientific communities, legal experts, and ethicists is vital in creating guidelines that balance technological progress with ethical considerations. This collaborative approach is essential for navigating the intricate web of challenges associated with mining resources beyond our planet. Every celestial body is a fragile ecosystem, a delicate balance we must maintain. Space mining cannot come at the expense of these pristine environments. We need responsible practices, a commitment to environmental sustainability, or risk leaving a trail of cosmic waste. Innovations in green mining technologies and waste management systems will be paramount to ensuring that our cosmic ambitions do not compromise the ecological integrity of space. The legal landscape of space is constantly evolving, and space mining throws in a whole new set of challenges. Clear ownership frameworks, international collaboration, and conflict resolution mechanisms are essential to prevent chaos and ensure the cosmos remains a shared playground, not a battleground for resources. Given the unprecedented nature of space mining, the development of an adaptable legal framework should be an ongoing collaborative effort involving experts from various fields, including law, science, and diplomacy. Additionally, establishing an international regulatory body dedicated to overseeing space mining activities could provide a forum for resolving disputes, fostering transparency, and upholding the principles of responsible extraterrestrial resource utilization. As we navigate the intricate legalities of space mining, it is imperative to consider the potential socioeconomic impacts. Establishing fair trade practices, addressing issues of wealth disparity, and promoting inclusive participation in the space industry will be crucial in realizing the full potential of the new space race. This is not just about economic gain. It's about fostering a space economy that benefits all of humanity.
By prioritizing international cooperation and knowledge sharing, the space industry has the potential to become a catalyst for global development, creating opportunities for emerging economies to actively participate and benefit from the extraterrestrial resource boom. Additionally, proactive measures should be taken to ensure that the benefits of space mining are distributed equitably, preventing the concentration of celestial wealth in the hands of a few entities, and promoting a more balanced and just global economic landscape. Space mining presents a paradigm shift in resource acquisition. Its economic impact will be profound, influencing supply chains, energy markets, and the very fabric of global trade. It's about rewriting the economic playbook, creating new avenues for prosperity, and ensuring equitable distribution of celestial wealth. As nations and corporations collaborate on space ventures, there is a unique opportunity to establish international partnerships that transcend geopolitical boundaries, fostering a more interconnected and cooperative global economic landscape. Moreover, the development of space mining technologies may lead to the creation of high-skilled jobs and the growth of innovative industries, catalyzing a transformative era in the global workforce. With responsible development and global collaboration, the new space race can be the next giant leap in human evolution. Imagine a future where asteroid-forged cities bloom in zero gravity, lunar ice fuels interstellar voyages, and humanity boldly colonizes new worlds. But this future isn't guaranteed. It demands foresight, commitment, and a shared sense of wonder for the cosmic riches awaiting us. In this visionary era, educational initiatives will play a crucial role, fostering a new generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers who will carry the torch of space exploration forward. Public engagement and awareness campaigns will inspire a collective dedication to preserving the delicate balance of the cosmos, ensuring that our celestial endeavors become a testament to the enduring spirit of human curiosity and responsibility. The question isn't if we'll mine in space, but how. Will we treat the cosmos with respect as a shared treasure trove for all humanity? Or will we exploit it, leaving behind a wasteland of greed and neglect? The choice is ours. Let's make the new space race a chapter in our history that celebrates human ingenuity, not our reckless ambition. Let's mine the cosmos, not for fleeting profit, but for a brighter future, on Earth and beyond. And let's ensure that this new frontier, like the vast expanse of the universe itself, is filled with the light of collaboration, responsibility, and the boundless potential of our shared humanity.